So we're going to pull some energy and we're going to start off on angel numbers and we're going to see what messages spirit has, okay? So if anything resonates for you, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, also comment. Let Blue Flame know what's going on. And if you're interested in a person on my email, will be in the description box below, okay? All right, Scorpio, let's go. What messages do you have for my beautiful Scorpio? All right. Okay, Scorpio, we have 3113, okay? You and your twin are mirroring each other at this time, and you are aligning with each other on a higher vibrational plane, okay? So what this means, Scorpio, is that you are ascending, and your twin is ascending as well, okay? Both of you guys are mirroring each other so that you both can vibrate on a higher plane, okay? And when you vibrate on a higher plane, this brings you closer to union, okay? We also have the number 38, Scorpio. You can be 38. Do not get off course of your twin flame journey. You are on a mission to help raise the earth's vibrations. You will be rewarded financially and abundantly once your journey is complete, okay? So, Scorpio, if you are on a twin flame journey, baby, trust and believe this shit is rough, okay? And it's easy, Scorpio, to get discouraged and to get off the course, okay? But what Spirit is wanting to remind some of you guys is don't get discouraged, okay? Stay on the course. Stay focused at this time because at the end of this journey, at the end of this mission, Scorpio, you will be rewarded, okay, financially and abundantly here, okay? We also have the number seven. Your angels want you to take up a new hobby or skill. This um, energy came out the other day. This will enhance or inform you of your spiritual gifts that can lead you to your new career path, you guys, okay? So if you're seeing the number seven, spirit is encouraging you to take on a hobby, something that you're interested in, because this could be your spiritual gift, and this will also lead you down your divine career path, okay? We also have 911 Scorpio. Stay positive because new doors are opening for you, okay? Some of you guys, I know it's easy to get discouraged, okay, to get thrown off your track. But just remember, Holy Spirit is not going to leave you. You know what I'm saying? New doors, new opportunities are coming in for you. Okay. So let's see, Scorpio, what type of energy is around you guys at this time. If anything resonates, don't forget to like this video, okay? All right, messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. What type of energy is around my beautiful Scorpios at this time? Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. If anything is resonating, please don't forget to like this video. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. What type of energy is around my Scorpios at this time? All right, Scorpio, let's go. What type of energy, Holy Spirit, is around my beautiful Scorpios at this time, Holy Spirit? What type of energy? All right, Scorpio, we, damn, this always, let's show up for this alone. This energy always. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. We shuffle some more. Messages for my Scorpios. If it come out, it come out. All right. Can we talk? All right, Scorpio. So this reading is going to be about someone that wants to come in and talk to you, okay? Talk to you about something. Maybe this is someone that you haven't talked to in a while, okay? But someone wants to talk to you, Scorpio, okay? All right, let's only get into it. For some of you guys, this could be an Aries. You can have an Aries, Scorpio, that wants to talk to you, okay? For some of you guys, this person's not going to wait around for you to text them back, call them back, answer the phone, because this person could pop up on you unexpectedly here, okay? So we have someone in your energy, Scorpio, that wants to talk, okay? For some of you guys, this could be an Aries. It doesn't have to be, okay? This can also be a Gemini. 
that you can be dealing with, okay? But someone, Scorpio, wants to pop up on that ass and talk to you, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, let's get some more energy for my Scorpios. What type of energy is around my beautiful Scorpios at this time? All right, Scorpio, for some of you guys, this could have been someone that did a lot of pump faking, okay? So what this means, this person told you they was going to do some shit, Scorpio, and they never came through, okay? They said they was going to call you back, come see you, y'all was going to go out, y'all was going to do this and that, and this person never came through, okay? But they always kept you in the energy of waiting or thinking that they were going to do something, okay? This person could be one to come in and talk because you are looking good and you are vibing on a higher level, okay? You out here looking good, you smelling good, Scorpio, and you feeling good about yourself, okay? And this could have been someone, Scorpio, that put you in a third-party situation, okay? When you were dealing with this person, Scorpio, you were not the only person that they were dealing with. Now, for some of you, you could have blocked this person. You're no longer talking to them, okay? But this person feels like this is just a game. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person, I feel like, has a big ego. They real cocky, Scorpio, okay? Male or female, it don't matter. But this person saying, Scorpio, I don't know why the hell you acting like you don't want me when you know good damn well, Scorpio, that you want me, okay? So someone here feels like, you know what I'm saying, you playing hard to get, basically. They saying you acting like you don't want them, Scorpio, you know good damn well that you want them, okay? <sighs> Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. What type of energy is around my beautiful Scorpios at this time? Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. What type of energy is around my beautiful Scorpios? All right, Scorpio, and this is also someone that tried to impress you, okay? So what this means, Scorpio, is someone here was like hiding their true self, okay? Hiding who they really were behind some type of mask. Now, some of you guys, you could have been well off for doing good for yourself, okay? This person felt like in order to get on your level, ho, you know what I'm saying? This person had to try to impress you, okay? Try to make themselves and, or build themselves up to be more than what they were, okay? So this is someone who may not have had it going on like they did or like they said they did, Scorpio, but they felt like they had to do this to impress you, okay? And this is someone, Scorpio, that I feel like you didn't feel like something was right about this person or... or in this connection, this relationship, you felt some shit was off, right? So you started questioning this person, you know what I'm saying? They started moving different. They started, you know what I'm saying, doing shit differently. Y'all know how it is, women, men, it don't matter. When you with somebody, you know when they get to move it differently, right? So you was asking this person, like, yo, what's up? You know what I'm saying? What's going on? And this person would ignore your question, you know what I'm saying? You would ask them a question and shit, they'll ask you a question, you know what I'm saying? Or... This person just would ignore your question, change the subject altogether because they knew, Scorpio, if they gave you any increment that they was lying or, or that what you was feeling was true, it was going to be a problem, okay? All right, Scorpio, so let's see who this is that wants to talk and let's see who this unexpected visitor is going to be, okay? All right, here we go. All right, Spirit, tell us about can we talk? I don't have my notebook. There. Messages for my Scorpio. Let me get my notebook. Okay, Holy Spirit, tell us about can we talk? Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Who is this person that wants to talk to Scorpio? Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Back to house, Scorpio. Hold on. Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Tell us about can we talk? Who is this person that wants to talk to Scorpio? Strength. Someone, Scorpio, that lacks courage in themselves right now, okay? This could be a Leo that you guys are dealing with, okay? You see, this is in reverse. So whoever this is, Scorpio, they currently lack courage in themselves, okay? Or maybe in the past, this person lacked courage, okay? They didn't have that faith. They didn't believe, Scorpio, like they had enough strength to come towards you, okay? So this person could have been like, I feel like their ego or something had been wounded. Like, I feel like this is someone who normally had a big ego, but for them to lack confidence in themselves, like their ego could have been wounded, okay? This is someone who is trying to force something, okay? So this person... Popping up on you, okay? Wanting to talk forcefully, okay? Because I'm getting the energy of, like, 
this person is forcefully going to try to make you talk to them, okay? Some of you guys, you may not be interested in talking to this person at this time, okay? Now, that don't mean, Scorpio, you may not want to talk to this person in the future, okay? But at this present moment right here, right now, you like, no, nah, okay? You don't want to talk to this person. But with this being in reverse, it's like someone who's kind of going to, you know, they got that big ego, like they're going to pump themselves up and be like, shit, Scorpio is going to talk to me, or like they're going to forcefully try to make you talk to them, okay? Tell us about strength. <clears throat> Tell us about strength, Holy Spirit. Messages from my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Tell us about strength. Why is this person going to try to forcefully make Scorpio talk to them? Because Scorpio, this person knows that you're very defensive, okay? This person knows that you're very guarded when it comes to them, okay? So I feel like because this person did a lot of pump faking, okay? Possibly did a lot of lying, Scorpio, okay? You're very defensive. Like, you don't trust this person. You don't trust nothing that this person say, okay? So they feel like the only way that you guys are going to communicate to them is like basically they force themselves up on you, you know what I'm saying? They force this conversation up on you because they know you're very heavily guarded, okay? This could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. Nine of Wands is, hold on, Scorpio. Nine of Wands is Sagittarius, okay? So some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo or you could be dealing with a Sag in particular, okay? So tell us about... The nine of wands, Holy Spirit. Tell us more. Tell us about the nine of wands for my Scorpios. I love you. Page of Swords. Okay, and Scorpio, whoever this person is, this needs to be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This person has been watching you, Scorpio, on social media, okay? So I feel like this person has been watching your moves. For some of you guys, like I always say, if you're on some type of platform, it's like this person has almost been studying you, you know what I'm saying? Like trying to study you to know or figure out exactly how to come towards you or how to approach you here, okay? So tell us about this unexpected visitor, Holy Spirit. I didn't get my damn guys down, Scorpio. I'm not prepared for that. Okay, messages for my Scorpios. Who is this unexpected visitor for my Scorpios? Who is this person that want to pop up on Scorpio? All right, ooh, the lovers. Okay, and it's landing right here on Gemini. Okay, some of you guys, you could be dealing with the Gemini or this unexpected visitor, you guys could be coming in Gemini season, okay? Now, with this lovers card, it talks about union, okay? This talks about attraction here, okay? So someone here, Scorpio, feels very, 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 very attracted to you, okay? Now, some of you guys, Scorpio, when this person comes towards you, you may have a choice to make, okay? For some of you, when this person gets the strength to come towards you, okay, this person, or you can already be involved with someone else, okay? Because this talks about romance, union, attraction, okay? And it also talks about a decision of the heart being made, okay? So, Scorpio, when you get this unexpected visitor for some of you guys, like I said, this can actually be in Gemini season, okay? Some of you are already dealing with someone, okay? So, you're going to have a choice to make. Do you want to talk to this person, see what, here's this person out from the past, or do you want to continue with the situation that you have going on now, okay? Tell us about the lovers, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us about the lovers. So, what plan Because I can't make this up, Scorpio. Some of you guys, you may even be juggling, going back and forth, trying to figure out exactly what the hell you're going to do, okay? For some of you, when this person comes towards you wanting to talk, okay, it could be something specifically that they're going to say, okay? Look, I'm taking, they're taking away my voice, Scorpio. <clears throat> it could be something specific that this person says, okay? A lot of us, we like, we don't want to hear what this person got to say from the past. We ain't trying to hear this shit, you know what I'm saying? But this person could say something, in particular, Scorpio, to get to, you know what I'm saying? Then you're going to be sitting here juggling like, damn. This motherfucker said this, you know what I'm saying? But I got this person on the, over here, okay? So you're going to be going back and forth, Scorpio, trying to figure out what you're going to do here, okay? Tell us about the Two of Pentacles. You can be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Tell us about the Two of Pentacles for my Scorpios. Yep, and this person, Scorpio, they feel hopeless at this time, okay? I feel like for a lot of you, when you walk away from this person, like, shit, you ain't leaving no Dear John letter, you ain't leaving no message, you ain't sending no smoke signals, like, you just walk the fuck away and you didn't say shit, okay? So this person kind of felt abandoned, like, you abandoned them, okay? And I feel like the reason why this person is forcefully going to try to make you talk to them, Scorpio, because they're hopeless, you know what I'm saying? And they feel like this is the only way they're going to get some type of conversation from you guys, okay? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy again. 
Tell us about the lovers, Holy Spirit. Dig a little deeper. Tell us about the lovers. What is this person going to say to Scorpio? This landed right here. The problem. Okay. But the problem is for some of you guys, okay? Now, for some of you, you may already be involved, you know what I'm saying, with someone else, and you're going to have to make some type of decision of the heart, okay? And for some of you guys, your decision of the heart that you're going to have to make is going to be your peace, okay? Your peace of mind, because a lot of you have been in this four source energy. You've been restoring your mind, your body, your soul, and your spirit from this person, from this experience, okay? Like you've taken a break. And the problem is, for some of you guys, you don't want this person to serve in your peace. Like the place that you're at right now, the peace that you have in your life, you was like, shit, I don't know if I want to take that leap of faith, if I want to take that risk, you know what I'm saying, and even have a conversation with this person because you feel like this person could actually disturb your peace, okay? And you've been peacefully restoring your mind, okay, resting over this bullshit that you've been through with this person and in life in general, okay? This also could be Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Let's look at this for a story. This is the Libra energy, okay? So we got Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. We got a Libra, Gemini in particular. Heavy Gemini, heavy air energy, you guys. Let me go get the answer in time of day, okay? And see when you can have this unexpected visitor, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, tell us about this unexpected visitor. What can my Scorpios expect <laughs> this unexpected visitor? Tell us about this unexpected visitor, Holy Spirit. Tell us more about this unexpected visitor for my Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. We have be yourself, okay? It's the spirit of saying, Scorpio, you ain't got to put on no front. You ain't got to try to, you know what I'm saying, play this game or nothing with this person, okay? If this person comes up on you, Scorpio, just be yourself, you know what I'm saying? For some of you, this unexpected visitor could happen in January, okay? So someone, Scorpio, could be coming towards you guys in the month of January, okay? Still a while, still a while. All right, messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Can you tell us more about this unexpected visitor? What does Scorpio expect this unexpected visitor, okay? For some of you guys, this person is going to pop up on you at nighttime, okay? All right, Scorpio, that's all. No, I don't. We got to see what signs we're dealing with. All right, Scorpio, so we have, what, Libra, Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Leo, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag. So we have Heavy Cancer, Aquarius, Aries. We have Aquarius, Taurus, Pisces, Aries. And we also have a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and Sag, okay? All right, you guys, that's all I have. I love you, Scorpio, and until next time, stay blessed.